Here we go. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fly Tying Tuesdays here with Carlisle Fly and Fowl. Today we're going to be tying another uh, jig style nymph and uh, we've already tied a variation of this which is just the uh, the Frenchie uh, but today we're going to add this CDC collar around it um, and uh, it really kind of sets this fly off. Gives it a little bit more movement when it's you know bouncing around there on the bottom um, but anyway we're gonna dive on in it today and I'm gonna show you guys how I tie this starting off with the Hanok 450 BL in size 16 with a uh, 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead we're gonna use our red thread just like we did with the other Frenchie we go ahead and get our thread started here on the hook. Bring our thread rearward. Okay, now we're going to tie in our tail and just using some Coq de Leon fibers. Um, and we're going to form about a, about a hook shank and length tail. Tied in, from our butts off. Bring our thread forward to right behind the bead, and we're going to tie in some gold wire for our ribbing. Bring our thread back to the front. Now we're going to tie in our pheasant tail. Uh, but I'm using uh, olive right now, but you can use natural, you can use black, um, you can use really whatever color pheasant tail you like for the body. Um, there's no, there are no rules in fly tying or fly fishing, so kind of make it up as you go along. Just bring that back, advance our thread back forward, and we're going to do just a couple of whip finishes here real quick. That way we can use the rotary function of our vise. And I'm going to go counter the regular way that I wrap. Um, on this pheasant tail, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So we're gonna advance that up. Tie off our pheasant tail. Trim that off. And now we can wrap with our wire um, and the reason that I did it the opposite way is it's much easier to tie in this wire the same direction as your thread wraps. Um, otherwise, it can kind of get a little bit tricky. So just a couple thread wraps there. Come in and tie it off. Helicopter that wire off. Close. Now we're going to tie in a dubbing loop for our CDC. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to tie that collar in. So you don't need a huge dubbing loop. Just enough for some CDC in there. I'm gonna put my 
string spinner on. Okay, now we're gonna tie in our CDC feather. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, uh, this come off of a duck that I killed a year or two ago and I saved some of the feathers for, for my fly tying here. Um, so it's pretty neat to uh, be able to reuse some stuff. So if you had a CDC clamp or some sort of a clamp that would really, really help you out right here for this next step. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna have to try to make do here. Um, but you kind of have to put that CDC in your dubbing loop and trim off the stem just like that. Now we can go ahead, start spinning this up. Form a collar. That doesn't have to be a super big collar. Um, do one more turn. Then I'm going to tie that off. Okay, now I can come in here and cut my loop off. Now we're going to preen these feathers back a little bit. Give it some shape and keep it kind of going rearward for that collar. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're going to come in with some ice dub and this is kind of like a shrimp color kind of a pink orange looking color um, super buggy looking Put a little bit of trash in that so i have to start over so kind of bring in or thread okay i got a little too much now we're going to put on a little bit of a red hot spot there on the front of that collar. And then a four or five turn whip finish. And that's it. So you can come in here and trim some of this, these uh, dubbing fibers off if you want. Um, but I kind of like it a little bit more buggy like that. Um, but yeah, so that is the, uh, Frenchie with the CDC collar. Um, again, this is just a really good looking pattern. Um, the, that CDC, uh, is oftentimes used for dry flies and people associate, um, CDC with floating really well. Um, but with, in a nymph setting, what this does is, uh, some of the bubbles in under the water kind of trap themselves in under these fibers. Um, it kind of looks like a, uh, you know, a nymph coming out of its shell or, or its casing or um, something like that. But, uh, but yeah, it just really kind of sets off that pattern, makes it look really cool. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys uh, would, like and subscribe um, and leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of uh, flies you guys want to see me tie next. I'm really enjoying these um, uh, Fly Tying Tuesday videos. It uh, really gets me going and... Um, you know, it's got me behind the vice a lot more and tying some some different stuff for you guys. So I'm um, trying to put out a, a video every week for that. Um, but, but yeah, I'm just trying to kind of come up with some different patterns, some stuff that I've never tied before uh, to, to uh, uh, learn, but also to kind of share along with you guys how to tie some different stuff. So anyway, appreciate you guys uh, watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.